never walk out early. If you've looked through the whole of the questions and you've checked some stuff, great chances are you won't have time left over to go and walk out early because the extension to paper is very much a time trial. But don't be tempted to walk out early if you think that you've done as much as you can. What you need to do instead is breathe deeply, sit and relax. Perhaps don't put your feet up on the desk and really chill out, but just put your pen down and take a little holiday, a little mental break. Deliberately remove the tension from where you feel it. Okay, if you feel it in your shoulders, deliberately push your shoulders down and sit up straight. If you feel it somewhere else in your body, don't wriggle around too much because you're going to be disturbing other people. But just give yourself a little mental shake and give yourself an opportunity to just relax a little. Putting your pen down and just putting your arms down helps you get into that relaxed position. Because what that actually does is it refreshes your mind. What you're trying to do is give yourself the same experience of what it would be like to walk out. You know that feeling when you walk out and you say, oh, that's over? You sort of want to give yourself that experience while you're still at the exam desk. Because the minute you go, oh, that's over, that's when those thoughts can often come together and you can suddenly see the way through a question because your subconscious has been working on it even though you haven't been deliberately thinking about it. If you walk out, you can't come back and write the solution down. So make sure you stay there and do that. Once you've relaxed yourself, Go back and check the questions that you can do and just remind yourself of how well you have actually been going and only then go back and do the ones you can't do. And I wouldn't then be stewing about the very last question. I'd go back and check some of the earlier questions I couldn't do. The last questions are there to really stretch out to the very, very best students in the state. Go back and do the earlier questions. You've got a better chance of getting the mark there. The other thing you need to do is while you're sitting there relaxing is believe. Believe that the examiners have sent a paper that is probing to find out what you know and can do. And you'll have an opportunity to show them that. Believe that the markers are there to give you marks. They're not there like, they, like your teachers probably are, taking marks off all the time. They're looking where they can award you things. So even if your answers aren't perfect, if you've met the criteria, they can award you the mark. So give, know that they're on your side and give them the opportunity to give yourself stuff. But also, believe in the marking or the scaling fairy. Okay, the scaling fairy is on your side. You're doing the very hardest paper that there is. It's acknowledged that. And so it's harder to get the marks. That's acknowledged. The people who are working out your final HSC results and who are working out your ATAR know you've done the most challenging paper that there is, they're on your side too. And that little scaling fairy is going to come into play at the end. And then at the end, when you get up and walk out, don't remember the exam as the last thing you remember about mathematics. Think of all the beautiful things you've learnt. Think about how, in extension to maths, all of the simple things you learnt in mathematics, and then in extension one, how they culminated in extension two and what a beautiful thing it is that you've learned all of that mathematical knowledge and that you've been able to do really good things in a really tough situation. So good luck, do well, remember you do the best you can under the circumstances, that's all that's expected of you and you'll be fine.